What's up, YouTubers, and welcome back to Tony Technician's channel. And today we're going to be moving into another tool haul. Uh, if you guys didn't check out my last tool haul, which was posted, I believe, two days ago, go ahead and check that out. And today we're going to be moving into some more new tools and uh, some more in the future as well. But let's get into this, and I hope you guys enjoy. If you do, please make sure to hit that thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and as always, subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Thank you guys. Okay, so the first couple items that I have here are the Tekton jacketed fiberglass brass hammer. Uh, it is very light here, but it does say Tekton, one pound. Uh, it's the 16 ounce. You can get this in multiple different sizes. I think there's three or four different size brass hammers from Tekton, and they range from 20 to like 45 or so dollars, depending on the size, obviously. Uh, this is one of the smallest ones, but it's always handy to have a brass hammer and or a brass drift punch set. So, like I said, this is $20. They are made in China, but still a pretty good product. I mean, you, you really can't butcher this too much. It's a pretty simple product. Next, we have the Mayhew Pro 3-piece brass drift punch set. And here are the sizes 3 8 by 6 inch, half inch by 7 inch, and 3 quarter inch by 8 inch. Um, now these are not warranted. It's very rare that you come across like punches or uh, drill bits and stuff that really have a warranty because they're consumable items. And it even says it right here on the package. Now, don't get me wrong, some companies will actually warranty them, but not these. Uh, these are great for installing races and stuff where you really don't want to damage a hard metal because uh, it's going to cost you a lot more money in the end. So it's good to have these, so if anything takes the impact, it's these uh, brass punches or the brass hammer instead of whatever item you're installing. So $20 for the hammer, roughly $30 to $35 for the, the brass punch set. So really good here. The Mayhew is made in the USA, so really good product there. Now let's move on to the next product that I got. Also guys, keep in mind that I will be trying to link some of these down in the description for you guys if you're interested, along with a lot of other tools down there. So uh, hopefully I remember to link these, but let's get this open and take a look at this. This I purchased because, well, they're really handy to have. And this product right here had 180 reviews and they were all four or five stars. So. That's something I really look at when buying things online. So even if it isn't name brand or a real professional grade tool, uh, it's really handy to look at those reviews just so you know whether the product is worth spending the money or not. Now, once again, this product cost me around $20, so it was a pretty good deal. It comes in this nice little aluminum case or plastic and aluminum. Yeah, that's plastic. <laughs> but either way, open that upside down. Go ahead and open it the right direction. It is a stepper bit set. And here are your sizes right here, just in case you guys can't read that. But it is a five piece set and it comes in this nice little foam uh, insert. And it's always handy to have multiple different sizes of these stepper bits and they're really handy to have. So I picked this up roughly $20. You really can't beat it, especially with 120 reviews all being four or five stars. Uh, to me, that's pretty much worth it, but we will be putting these to the test and seeing how well they hold up in the future, so stay tuned for that video. It's just another nice little product I wanted to share with you guys. Now, let's move on to the next item. The next item I have up here is the OEM Tools 5-piece adapter set. It comes in this nice little red blow-molded case. Um, yes, I've had pretty good luck with this OEM Tools brand. They make some pretty good stuff for a really reasonable price. I did get this off of Amazon. And that is also where I got that catalog if you watched yesterday's video or Saturday's video. But these are made in Taiwan. They're all impact grade and it's an adapter set. Uh, you get half inch to three eighths, three eighths to half inch and half inch to three quarters. Now it's not going to be too often that I ever really use this because in the normal automotive field it's not very often that you use uh, three quarter inch stuff. That's more for heavier duty stuff. But it also comes with the 3 8 universal joint and the half inch universal joint. And they are all chromoly, so that's really nice and will really come in handy. But I'll also be doing a more in-depth review on these. But for the price, I believe it's $20 or $22 for this set. Really good price uh, for the adapters that you're getting, especially being impact grade. So that is from OEM Tools. 
and the model number is 24226. Once again, I'm going to try and link all these items down in the description just in case you're interested. But next up, we have the last item, which is the Lang 4-in-1 uh, brake caliper tool. Now, I've been wanting to get this for a really long time. It runs roughly $40, um, and I'll have it linked down below. But it is made in the USA, and it's great for all different kinds of brakes uh, compressing the, the pistons. So it works on twin and quad piston fixed calipers as well as single and twin piston floating calipers. Uh, centrally located ratchet uh, evenly spreads the force. And then the ratchet, uh, it can spin at a complete 360, so no matter really where you're working at, you can get the handle in a good location so you can really ratchet that uh, piston back into place. And then it has a reverse lever as well. We'll just go ahead and get into this so you guys can see. But here it is. Very simple tool, but very, very handy to have. I've used these uh, quite a few times. Uh, never personally owned one, so I figured I might as well get my own. So here's the reverse lever, really easily accessible no matter where your ratcheting portion is. And it's reversible, so it's really nice. Uh, I really enjoyed using these. Makes brake jobs a lot easier uh, because I used to just use a C-clamp using the old brake pad to uh, compress the piston where this works on many different brake systems so it's a fantastic tool. Made by Lang, made in the USA, here's the number 279 and once again it runs for about $40. So that's it uh, as far as today. Like I said, I'll try and get these linked down in the description as well as many other tools and I hope you guys enjoyed. So YouTubers, that's it for today's tool haul. Not a whole lot of items but some really good items so if you guys are interested, there they are. I will be doing a more in-depth review of them, obviously later on down the road, uh, and doing some demonstrations with some of the tools as well. So stay tuned for those, and I really hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, but I hope you guys have a great day, and if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit that thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and as always, subscribe if you're not subscribed. Thank you guys.